not George, I mean, you know it makes sense. This is just car insurance. All thieves anyway, so it's not really even dishonest. When you think about it, you will be doing a public service. You're going to be redistributing the ill-gotten gains or dodgy bunch of chances, and you're going to be giving it back to the needy. The needy being you? Yeah, but you too, mate. You're going to get a car out of it. It's going to be worth a while. So, I have an accident. I bump into that old shitbox you call a car. Yeah. I lose my no claims bonus. You claim for whiplash, and on top of that, you get a big payout for yeah. a car that ain't worth a tenner. Oh, sure. You're going to get a car out. It's going to be worth your while. And anyway, you've got no claims cover on your insurance. Well, why if I had? And besides, I'm not doing it. I mean, if I get caught, I'm the one who gets nicked. And well, I'm not Mr. Trustworthy 2012, are you? What are you referring by that? Are you suggesting that I am not a 100% straight up genuine? Yes, I am. Besides, you sold my heart a bloody skiing olive. She doesn't like skiing? No, she doesn't. She's 87 and she's only got one bloody leg. That's just details, isn't it? Les Derrick, Charlotte Greenmouth, boozers, corner places like this. I find them, I take the Dwight, but they're there now. I've never heard of any of them. <laughs> you wouldn't have heard of them. I mean, they're not big in the UK, for Christ's sake, no. No, they're big in foreign countries. I mean, Les and Derrick, massive in China, going to the top 100 of their record charts just last year. Really? Yeah, it's like, Emily Shu, Brazil, absolutely goes bundle on. She's doing that samba shit all over the place. I didn't know that. Now you do. Okay, so, so for argument's sake, I say yes to this thing. What would be expected of me? I mean, this this guy, um, Dwight Brussels, would he want me to sing? First off, it's Russell, not Brussels. It's really arsy, isn't it? Dwight Russell. 
Um, no, not on the first meeting, very unlikely, but what would probably happen is he would get you in there, you'd have a chat, and you'd get a feel for your assets, so it's What do you mean? I'm not wrong doing words. anything dodgy. Didn't suggest that, no. Poor choice of words, but do apologise, no. This is the age of the video. How you walk, how you talk, how you move, how you look is so much more important. So, what you know, a load of cock. I would love one, thank you. So, you know, you've got to be a whole package. I guess you're right. You know I'm right. Come on, Susie. This is me, this is Ozzy. Okay, I'll do it. So, um, when and where is it? Okay, well, look, Tuesday next week, I'll send the car around for you. Um, we're going to go down to Dagenham to date your records. You do? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Ozzy, you promise this is for real? And it's not something dodgy, is it? My dear, I never do anything that's not 110% absolutely guaranteed real. Okay, I don't deal any other way. This is how I work. It's Ozzy, not some scumbag. So, you know, this is, this is it. This is what you see, is what you get. Okay. See you Tuesday next day. So, Mr. Dwight, did you like my demo tape? Well, sir, the guitar playing was very good. Unfortunately, the MP3 was fucked. There was all this wailing going on, a little bit like the body form advert, but worse. All this. <laughs> going on, sounded like a disabled cat having an orgasm. Couldn't understand a fucking word of it. I gave it to the sound technicians. What they say, Tex? Uh, Mr. Dwight, he said that there was nothing wrong with the MP3 file. It was meant to sound that way. Really? I guess so. <sighs> I'm sorry, son. There's nothing I can do for you. I'll tell you what, go away. Learn something a little bit more mainstream. A little bit like... Popping caps in gangsters and fucking your baby mother, that kind of thing. But there's a sacred chant to Odin. My friends think it's beautiful. Maybe they do, son. But I'm in the music business. I sell music. And if I was to sell that to every one of your friends that follows you on Facebook and shitter, how many would I sell? Three? Don't take the piss. You obviously don't know anything about music, do you? Bloody Philistine. Mr. Russell will let you believe now. Odin's gonna fuck you up! A glass of water, Ozzy. Get tax to get you one. Uh, no thanks, Dwight. No, I um, brought someone here to see you. This is Susie. I thought you know you might be interested in her um, abilities. I hope it's an awful lot better than the last creature you brought in here to see me. Oh, well, you didn't like Brian? Well, you're going to love Susie. I mean, Susie can really sing. I've seen her in action. She's pretty, pretty. She's pretty good. Anyway. As a manager, I thought I'd give it the best of starts, and so naturally I, I brought her here. Best of starts, here. <laughs> Still king of the flannel, I see. Step forward for me, Don. Let's have a look. So, you want to be a singer, eh? What kind of genre do you like? What kind of music do you like to sing? Oh, I see. Well, I like most stuff, really, but... Lately I've been singing kind of late 80s pop stuff, you know, um, Bonnie Tyler, Tina Turner, that kind of thing. Really? Yeah, would you like to hear me sing? No, no, no. 
First, I want to have a look and see what um, assets you've got. What do you mean, assets? What I mean is, it's not about just how you sound anymore. It's about how you look. It's a complete package. Let's look at when artists were about before video came along. They were fantastic singers. They wrote their own music, played all their own instruments. They sounded fantastic, but they looked fucking monsters. They all fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Take Mama Cass, for example. Voice of an absolute angel. Body of an absolute whale. Do you see what I mean? I could go on, but I won't be dinner. I guess you're right. But then what about people like, oh, I don't know, um, Susan Boyle? Susan Boyle! Oh, now I really don't want me dinner. Listen, I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm talking about. Turn around for me. Let's have a look. Not very tall, are you? Five foot three? Five four. Are you okay with yours, honey? What are your measurements? She doesn't look that very big on top. I'm big enough, thanks. <laughs> No, Dwight, she's got one or two of everything she needs. Trust me, she's fine. I'll decide what's fine. <laughs> Sit down for us, love. So, Dwight, do you like her? Yeah, you're just a little bit plain. Plain? Yeah, look, no offence, but you're a nice girl. And nice girls, well, they just don't sell. I'm going to have to do something to uh, perk your image up. Well, I think we can do something, sir. Um, slutty isn't everything. Uh, maybe leather jacket, um, tight jeans, rocker chip. What do you think? <laughs> you and your leather jackets, that. <laughs> it ain't the 80s anymore. That's true. Listen, I think I like you. You've got that girl next door. I like it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a slot in the studio. See how you sound. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brussels. I won't let you down, I promise. Russell, my dear, Sorry. not Brussels. And I know you won't. Now, look after my girl for me. Your girl? My girl, I found her. Sorry, your girl, of course. Take good care of her. Tats, sit now. Oh, Tats, nicely. <laughs> They say anything on the way, huh? Uh, no, just the usual stuff. Didn't I tell you? Stick with me, babe, I'll make you a start. <laughs> Pretty much. Fucking milk. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'll tell you what, son. If this kid's got anything about her, I don't want him anywhere near it at all. <laughs> Agreed, sir, but uh, what if he already has a contract with her? Nah, never sees a bigger picture. Too small-minded. Nah, guarantee she ain't got nothing down on paper. Do you think so? I know so. He's lucky, he's got a rat-like ability to smell money, but he just lacks the opposable thumbs for hanging onto it. Mm. Nah. If we fuck him off out of it, he ain't gonna be out doing nothing about it. That'd be your job on a day. Mm. What about you? Good question. I'll be making sure that young girl gets her paw print on something solid before we leave the office. Hey Susie, once more for the top. Hey, you look okay? Whispers in the darkness of love is making plans. It's up 
Was that all right? I'm sorry, I think I went a bit flat back there. You were fantastic. I really liked it. You got anything done with Ozzy? What, like written down? Like a contract or something? Mm. Um, well, he did talk about putting something together, but I don't think he's got round to it. Really? I can sort that out for you right now. Well, shouldn't I read it first and have a chat with Ozzy? No need to worry Ozzy about that. He's been around long enough to know what it is. And trust me, it's a contract. There's nothing in there to trip you up. Now, you do still want to be a recording artist with a contract, don't you? Yeah. Right, have you got a pen? Yes, I've got a girl. Sign now. There. And an initial there. Say cheese. Welcome to the music piss. <laughs> <laughs> now, go and have a cup of tea. Russell, not Brussels. That's a good girl. Can we auto tune that? Lip sync is your best option. Music lessons, maybe. Oh, fucking more money. <sighs> Results. Tats, what's going on? Why can't I go back in there? Mr. Russell wanted a minute with Miss Coulter. Who? What, you mean Susie? No, 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 no. You're not cutting me out of this. Not that greedy bastard. I've worked too hard on this one to be shrugged off. Mr. Russell will be out in a moment, I am sure. In the meantime, don't try to push past me, as a broken arm can often offend. Tats, come on, just let me through. This is not fair. You greedy bastard, you're just going to use it and make money. I knew Ozzy was totally selfish now, weren't they? Ozzy, my dear boy. Bugger the boy, where's Susie, you poaching bastard? Poached? She ain't an egg. She's a nice girl, that one. Fed, I'd like to thank you very much for finding her for me. Finding her for you! <laughs> bastard, I found her for me! Now, you know how it works. No one owns nothing unless they've got a contract. Whoa, whoa! Calm down, or you hurt yourself. Or worse, he does. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you 250 quid. We'll call it, say, a finder's fee. That'll be more than enough to give you a drink and cover your expenses. 250 quid? You're gonna make thousands off of her. If only that was true. You know how it works. Air, makeup. Not to mention singing, dancing lessons, and a tit job, and a wardrobe. I'll be lucky if I break even. Now, 250 quid. We find an offer. Take it, <laughs> or leave it. Yeah, right. I'll take it. So, now, take your 250 quid and jog on. Go out and see what else you can find. And who knows? Maybe even the next one you get to keep. Right. Before we go, um, can I use your loop, please? <laughs> Piss off. So, Miss Anne, what do you think of young Susie? I'm in the evening, Susie. She done. Go get out of here. She didn't die. You go for she. She didn't die. What's she la? Yeah, she does like Susie, um, much better than your previous ex. Excellent. So I see you've got a good work of talent. She's young, she's eager. Just a job for me, Sam. What does it mean, Miss Sam? What do you mean? 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 What do you mean?
吃，我去拉鸡肉，我拉干鸡龙骨来，吃吃吃，我拉我吃，真吃。Yes, she likes Susie. Um, she does think she'll be quite satisfactory. Excellent. Let's start talking numbers. I'm thinking 50,000 for a one-year deal. My daughter, she gave me a deal, 50,000. Sadly, due to the economic state in her country, 20,000 is all she can offer. Take it or leave it. Take the 20,000. That's the best you're going to get for Susie. Tell me, Shane, that's a very attractive offer. I think I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Brussels? Russell. Not Brussels. Ciao. Bruce, Bruce House. see you at the house. Okay, you take it. And then you pass it. Thanks, Tats. Okay. okay. Is it raining? Um, oh, I think it might be spitting a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Do I know you? Um, well, yeah, actually you might. I'm uh, Ozzy Dale, the music promoter. I found Charlotte Greenmouth and Susie Coulter. I used to sing. My mum used to sing this song to me when I was a little baby. It was, uh, oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. It's not actually all that bad. You've got some pipes on you, mate. From coast to coast and down the mountainside. Have you ever considered possibly making a new living in the music industry? Oh, Danny boy! Oh, Danny, How Danny are you? boy! I am going to make you oh, a star. Danny boy! Oh, Danny!